This video is brought to you by Battlezoo Ancestries Dragons, the book that lets you play as a dragon. Written by Pathfinder lead designer Mark Seifter to be balanced with existing ancestries, this book adds over 30 new dragon playable ancestries to Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Coming to Kickstarter on August 31st, sign up today at kickstarter.rollforcombat.com. <laughs> Hey everybody and welcome to a special edition of How It's Played. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of Ask a Designer with one of our friends from, from Paizo joining us. I've got a number of questions that were submitted to me through both Reddit and through my Patreon of rules related questions that if you could get uh, just five minutes with a Paizo designer and ask them for an answer on any uh, of the, your biggest questions, what would those questions be? And Mr. Mark Mark Seifter has been kind enough to join us today to uh, go over a number of these questions and get us some some insider uh, some insider insight on some solutions to these questions. and And Mark, how are you doing today? I am doing well. Great. Uh, I, I am the design manager at Paizo, and I also ran some of these questions, which I have received in advance, to make sure um, that. Logan Bonner, who's the Pathfinder lead designer, uh, was on the scene page with me about the fact that these were questions that there was a clear answer, uh, questions that we could answer, and that were not ones that we needed to put up in an FAQ because they were actually at a point where it was like, well, a decision's going to have to be made between these two things. And But some of your questions were in that ladder boat and we now have added them to our list of things to potentially put up in an FAQ. Yeah, and, and I appreciate that and that's a great point for, for any viewers out there who did submit questions um, that don't get answered in this run of, uh, of Ask a Designer. Uh, don't lose hope because it could be one of those questions that might be showing up in a Rotter or an FAQ later. Um and also, I just want to mention that uh, I'm going to be taking all of the responses we, we, we get today, breaking them up, and I'll be releasing one question and one answer per week. Is going to be Ask a Designer Fridays for as long as <laughs> these questions last. Uh, so make sure you come back to the channel every Friday afternoon to see what the next question and answer from, from Mark is uh, until we run out of the questions that were covering today um before we get started i also want to make sure that i give you an opportunity mark to to plug anything coming up is there anything uh, on the horizon that uh, the pathfinder community should know about there is so much that is about to come up uh, i guess due to the different um shipping delays that have kind of hit the entire industries both secrets of magic and guns and gears are now both fairly close to being out by the time you see this video, it's going to be real close to Secrets of Magic coming out, the Magus, the Summoner, new magical treatises to place where magic is in the world, a book of unlimited magic with creative new ways to use magic, tons of spells, just so many spells, magic items, all sorts of great stuff for any character who loves magic, even if they're not necessarily a character who is completely steeped in it. So I highly recommend Secrets of Magic. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And it seems like some people who have, have it already are enjoying it though, so far. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. We, we, we've got a list of questions here. Uh, again, all of these questions were submitted by members of the community, either through my Patreon or through the, uh, the Pathfinder 2nd Edition subreddit. Uh, and so I'm going to, I'm going to start with the first one. The, the first topic that generated a lot of, um, agreement that they wanted clarification in the community was about Druid's wild shape. And in particular, if you, if you ever look at the, uh, write up of wild shape, I think it's the very last sentence says that if you have, if you want to, you can use your unarmed attack bonus instead of the battle forms uh, attack bonus and if you do so you get a plus two to your attack and the area that wasn't really clear on that was well first of all if we're talking unarmed attack and I'm wearing hand wraps of mighty blows do I get to add that bonus when calculating my my normal unarmed attack while I am polymorphed uh, so what's the so, response to that 
So when it comes to figuring out what your attack bonus is with a battle form, if you are taking the battle forms bonus, you just take it. Mm -hmm. uh, the only there's only a few things that can add to that, such as status and circumstance bonuses, I believe. Um, if you are using your own full bonus, then you first determine if you're going to use that bonus. If you do, you take the whole thing. And that will also include the item bonus. At that point, once you have determined that you are using your bonus, that is when you add the plus two bonus uh, from Wild Shape for using your own bonus. Okay. So so you get to choose if you want to use your bonus or the Battle Force bonus. Uh, it's not a situation where you have to have a higher bonus in order to take the um in order to not take the battle forms bonus oh well hold on on that one let me see what it says in the spell uh you do have to determine which one you're going to take first before receiving the plus two though that is solid so it says here if your unarmed attack bonus is higher you can use it instead so you cannot use it if it is not higher Okay, so if your normal unarmed attack bonus is one less than what it would be for the battle form, you cannot get that plus two bonus and have a net of plus one. That is what it says right now. So that's it for the first edition of Ask a Designer. I will be releasing these every Friday for the next couple of months, and I would like to continue the series beyond that, but in order for me to do that, I'm going to need to get Mark or another representative of Paizo back on the channel to record more questions and answers with them. And to do that, I'm going to need help from you folks out there. First and foremost, I'm going to need your questions. So if you have a question that you would like to see answered by a designer, make sure you leave those questions either on my Patreon. If you are a member of the of the Patreon, I have a thread up there for you to, to volunteer your questions or leave them in the comments of this video. I'll be gathering them from both of those places. The best way to ensure that we can continue doing these Q&A sessions with Paizo developers is to let Paizo know that you see value in this. And the easiest way to do that is going to be by clicking the like button on this video and leaving comments. And I want to take a quick moment to say thank you to everybody out there who supports me and continues to support me, whether it's through subscribing to this channel, subscribing to the Patreon, leaving your thoughts, comments. I really appreciate all of it. And with that, thanks for watching. Take care and happy gaming.